Good evening, lovely YouTube. Boy Mexican back in with another Market Watch video. I'm going to be quickly recovering, covering uh, band cards. I wasn't going to go over all the Dragon Ball cards, but a lot of them, their prices are kind of janky right now. Um, Blaster is the highest, of course, being the best card. It's about $4 right now, so if you have them, um, I would definitely hold on to a playset because, you know, who knows when these things are come off the list. I, I'm a personal believer that everything comes off the list eventually. They're about $4 right now, so... If you have a lot of these, um, why not list them? Cyber Jar, another band card. I think it's just totally blowout. Um, now that we have Morphing Jar, why not give us Cyber Jar back eventually, sooner or more than later? It's a flip effect, so it can be easily destroyed. So I really don't think there's a problem bringing this card back, and it'd be awesome if they did. Um, there's a lot of different versions, like the Ultimate Rare versions, of course, everyone's going to want that, but it's ridiculously expensive already. It's like $30, especially if you want to go towards the first editions. It's about 7 for lightly played unlimited, and it just keeps on going up from there. So if you want to go big money, there's the Ultimate Rare. Um, I wouldn't recommend the Hobby League 2 because these were made from a different company, and they're actually like thicker, and you can get in some trouble with some tournaments for that. Um, so I hear, but I'd be careful with that. There's some star star uh, star packs or battle packs here. There's a rare, but I want to personally look at the uh, original print Magic Ruler. I call it Magic Ruler because that was the original set. Um, the Magic Ruler first editions. There's not a whole lot out here. Um, actually, there's there's none for uh, for Spell Ruler. Where's Magic Ruler? Sorry, here's Magic Ruler. I like Magic Ruler better. I really, you know, I'm an old school player and I like Magic Card. I always say Magic Card over Spell Card, even though technically it is now Spell Card. But, um, it's, I, I would definitely go, if I, I was to get this, I would definitely not get the Unlimiteds. I would be getting the first, seeing how it's just a rare. And they're like less than $2. Less than $2 for first edition rares all across the board. There's plenty of ones here, so you might want to add them in. But this is a really good card, and I think it has a potential to come off, and if it does, we totally blow out. Obviously, yes, people are going to be really excited about the Ultimate Rare, but I think this original print, first edition, rare, is really hard to get, and it's old, and it's just a really good card, so that's something to consider. Mind Master is something that no one's really looking at. It's a single print, and that's the only reason why I'm kind of taking interest in this card. It's got a really nice effect. It's a band right now, of course, like the majority of these cards. But if it comes off and it doesn't get errated, that would be pretty pretty significant, seeing how it's a solo print. That's the only thing that really makes me want to concern on this card. Um, and it's really cheap right now. You know, it's like a quarter. And there's plenty of them out there, first editions. So that's another card to uh, consider. Yadagaratsu, I'm just looking at this really quick because there's only five... Five first editions listed on all TCG player, so if you have first edition, I'll consider listing it. It's pretty expensive right now, so you can get some good money for it if you can actually get it to sell. Um, you know, I'm personally holding on to my first editions just because of nostalgia and just the, it's one of my all-time favorite band cards. But uh, if you have a first edition, you might want to consider listing it because there's not a whole lot. There's only five listings of first edition. MX Saber Invoker. So this got a secret reprint in one of the last couple sets, one of the reprint sets. But this is the original one from Order Chaos. This used to be so much money before it got banned. It is currently banned, but it's under $2 for a first edition, original print, secret rare, Order Chaos, super old set. And I just think this card is a blowout. It's a really, really good card. And when it does come unbanned, I highly don't see this being errated. And I think it's going to be a good card. And for $2, I think that's a great investment. First edition, secret, original print. $2 all over that. Shockmaster. There is a ultra rare here from the Jump Magazine. It's kind of expensive. It's like $5, $6. Um, the super rares from the tins, from the super old school 2012 tins, are $0.50. Cents. They're so cheap right now. Now, I know not everyone likes, you know, the reprint super rares or whatever have you. I, I got to think for super rares. I love super rares personally. And, you know, a hollow, it's still a hollow. You know, it's better than a common. And uh, I just think super rares don't really look that bad. They look pretty terrible on some cards, but I don't think Shockmaster looks that bad. There is only two prints of this. And it's the, you know, you can still get a hollow version for, like, literally, like, five times cheaper. It's 50 cents, and there's tons of them down here. This, this one has uh, 22 of them. Lightly played, $0.74, cents, so it's under a dollar. So this card is just so powerful. It's so blowout. It may or may not get errated. When it does come off the list, I think it will eventually. Um, but it's just such a powerful card, and it's such a there's good history to this card. This card is just a, a nemesis in the game for a while. So uh, for under a dollar, for a super, why not? 
this isn't a banned card, but this is just an awesome card. No one really plays this card anymore. I kind of got power crept out. But it is an ultimate and it's super old from Ancient ancient Prophecy. And it's like $2. $2 for the unlimited. The first editions get a little bit more expensive. They go to quickly go to 7 But um, I just think this is an underrated card. And uh, I just it's beautiful artwork. And I think it's got a powerful effect. And it's just a really good level 7. And it's an ultimate. So it's something to consider. Pot of Greed is off the hinge. Everyone's going crazy, and Pot of Greed is always, always, any kind of Pot of Greed that you have, besides maybe the, some of the commons, um, even some of the commons, uh, is all money. I'm personally looking at the original Legend of Blue Eyes Magic card, and uh, first editions, if you have a first edition of these, it's $20. So, I know I said I'm a big admin of everything coming off the ban list eventually, and even this card, I think eventually one day we will get this card. I highly doubt that it won't be a red. I feel there's going to be some kind of special stipulation to bust this thing out. Um, but if you have a rare first edition original print, they're $20. So that's a lot of money for a rare. I mean, it makes sense this card's so old. Um, there's tons of different versions here, and they're all pretty much worth money. Obviously, the ultimate rare is going to be worth the most. It's ridiculously expensive right now. It's like $35 for a first edition from Duelist Pack Kaiba. Um, so, yeah, if you are a super rarity whore and you want to drop a lot of money, there's also the super rares or secret rares. I'm going to go into this a little later in the video. These sets, the Yugi's World and the Joey's World, the Legendary Collections, there's so much amazing cards and such high rarities in this set. So I'm going to go over those actually right now. Um, there's Pot of Greed for you. Change of Heart. So I'm looking specifically at the secret rare version. There is, of course, other cool versions like the original um, print ultra rares from Metal Raiders. And they're all pretty much dirt cheap until you get to the first editions. The first editions get really spicy when you get to the first edition realm. But I want to be looking at this secret rare right here. It's still, for a band card, I think it's expensive. I mean, for the first editions, it's almost $6. I personally wouldn't buy these for $6. Um, they may or may not go down. It's just such a gorgeous card. This, in, the, the artwork and just the nostalgia of this card and being in secret rare is so awesome. But what I want to look at really quick is the Legendary Collections, the Yugi Box. There's so much value in these sets. I remember, you know, these are getting pretty old now and super hard to come by. And uh, there's there's so much value. Like, you have BLS, Dark Magician Girl, um, which I kind of have my own, sh own spiel about this. I think the OCG Dark Magician Girls, their rarities and their versions and their artwork is completely superior to this. I know everyone goes crazy about collecting... Uh, Dark Magician Girl, even in the TCG, but the OCG Dark Magician Girl is like, if you guys have seen the OCG Dark Magician Girls, it's completely superior artwork, and it just looks better in every single way, and every time I see, like, any kind of value in these TCG Dark Magician Girls, I just, like, laugh at it, because it, it's just, it's a joke compared to the Japanese version. Um, Dark Paladin, Regeki, so Secret Rare, I just, there's so many cards that I love in these sets, and they're starting to go up in value, a Harpy's Feather Duster, that's, you know, another really great one, I like the promo one, but, um, the, these sets were just, they, they really weren't that big of a deal when they came out, but there, there's so many cards in here that are just really good, that, um, right now are kind of getting expensive, like Graceful Charity Secret, you know, that's even, like, pretty expensive now. Pot of Greed. There's just so many good cards. Imperial Order. Um, all these cards. So, anyway, I, I, I definitely advise you guys. Yeah, Sand Against Secret. That looks so cool. Um, to, to peek through these, they're all pretty expensive now. They're all kind of going up because you can't buy these anymore. And it is, you know, a legendary collection set. So, it just has, like, collector's value in general. But everything is really high rarity. A lot of cool killer old school secrets, and uh, TCG players being really slow, um, but it's uh, it's something to look into. I know I'm personally gonna dig a little deeper into this set, this and the Joey, the Joey's World one, um, because there's just so many cards that I really really like, and as time goes on, these cards are just getting more and more expensive. So I would definitely take a look into those. I'll try to do a video later on, um, peak peeking more deeper into these collections to figure out which ones are good to invest in, which ones are pretty cheap right now. So that's all I'm going to all I'm going to say about that. This has been a showing by the white Mexican. We'll see you guys in the next video.